Boy Manila, this is Kat and we are back with another comparison video and today we are going to put the Poco X6 Pro against the Infinix GT20 Pro. Both phones are priced under 20,000 pesos and they come with some promising features. However, when it comes to overall performance, which of these two devices offers more considering their price? Let's find out. When it comes to its design, the GT20 Pro already stands out because of its unique design. Both devices have a glossy back panel, which is prone to fingerprint smudges, with the GT Pro having a gaming look while the Poco X6 Pro has a more simplistic approach. In terms of its weight, well, the Poco X6 Pro is a bit lighter weighing at 190 grams, while the Infinix GT20 Pro weighs in at 194 grams. Both phones offer IP54 dust and splash resistance, which is a great feature to have in pretty much all smartphones. Both phones also have a spacious protruded camera module, but the Infinix GT20 Pro offers more accent because of the small detail. One unique feature of the GT20 Pro has when it comes to its design is that it has a customizable RGB LED on its back which adds a touch of premiumness to its overall design. Since design is pretty much subjective, it all goes down to what you prefer. Would you go for a more minimalistic design or a more flash look? Turning over the device, both phones offer an impressive display. Infinix GT20 Pro has a larger 6.78 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2436, while the Poco X6 Pro comes with a 6.67 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 1220 by 2712. Both display qualities are great, but this time Poco X6 Pro offers more display features. In terms of refresh rate, the Infinix GT20 Pro comes with a whopping 144 Hz with a peak brightness of 1300 nits. On the other hand, the Poco X6 Pro only offers up to 120 Hz refresh rate, but it comes with HDR10 Plus support, Dolby Vision, and a peak brightness of up to 1800 nits. It also has a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 display protection. Navigating both phones is smooth thanks to their fast refresh rate. But when it comes to display quality, well, I prefer the Poco X6 Pro 5G since I can watch HDR videos and it also offers higher resolution. In the display department, the Poco X6 Pro 5G stands out since it has more to offer. As for the cameras, both phones are equipped with a triple camera setup, with Infinix GT20 Pro having a larger 108 megapixel OIS main shooter, while the X6 Pro 5G carries a 64 megapixel OIS main. As for other sensors, the Poco X6 Pro 5G offers an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro, while GT20 Pro comes with a 2 megapixel depth and 2 megapixel macro. Infinix also has a larger sensor when it comes to a selfie camera boasting a 32 megapixel selfie while the Poco X6 Pro only offers a 16 megapixel shooter. Now, when it comes to the quality of the cameras, the GT20 Pro delivers vibrant colors while the Poco X6 delivers more natural results. Both have a wide dynamic range with decent sharpness and ample amounts of detail. Although, Poco X6 Pro delivers deeper shadows and deeper blue than the GT20 Pro. As for their selfies, GT20 Pro manages to outperform the Poco X6 Pro 5G when it comes to the color department. GT20 Pro offers a more vibrant result while the Poco X6 Pro 5G captures a somewhat washed out result. Details and sharpness are much more clearer in the GT20 Pro which makes it the better selfie camera.
Now, when it comes to video recording, the Popo X6 Pro can shoot up to 4K at 30 FPS, while the GT20 Pro can shoot up to 4K at 60 FPS. Both phones have their stabilization feature that shoots at 1080p at 30 FPS. Here are its sample videos. In terms of camera department, we usually say that just because it has a higher megapixel count doesn't mean it is the better shooter. But in this case, it is. In terms of performance and software, both phones run on Android 14 with Poco X6 Pro having the latest Hyper OS and XOS 14 for the GT20 Pro. As for their configuration, the Poco X6 Pro comes with 512 gigs of storage while the Infinix GT20 Pro only comes with 256 gigs. Both phones also offer 12 gigabytes of RAM with up to 12 gigabytes of expandable RAM on the Infinix GT20 Pro. Pro and up to 8 gigabytes of RAM expansion on the Poco X6 Pro. As for their chipset, Infinix GT20 Pro is powered by a 4 nanometer MediaTek Dimensity 8200 Ultimate, while the Poco X6 Pro runs on MediaTek Dimensity 8300 Ultra. In terms of overall performance, the Poco X6 Pro is the better option here. It has a higher GPU frequency and CPU clock speed. For a better look, here are some some of their benchmark results. So in this category, obviously the Poco X6 Pro offers better overall performance plus a higher storage and better operating system. When it comes to battery and charging, both phones are backed by a 5,000 milliampere battery capacity with 67 watts fast charging support for the Poco X6 Pro and 45 watts for the Infinix GT20 Pro. Since Poco offers a higher fast charging support, it is clear that it has a faster charging time. It took us 1 hour and 7 minutes to fully juice up the GT20 Pro and around 53 minutes for the Poco X6 Pro. Their battery efficiency is pretty much the same thanks to their small transistor and AMOLED displays but in this department, the Poco gets a point because of its faster charging time. Lastly is their price, the 512 gigs plus 12 gigs config of the Poco X6 Pro 5G is priced at 18,999 pesos but you can snag a lower configuration for the price of 16,499 pesos. As for the Infinix GT20 Pro, it is priced at 15,999 pesos for the 12 gigs plus 256 gigs config. Overall, both phones are pretty much an excellent choice for a budget friendly smartphone. They offer impressive displays, good cameras, and overall performance that work great whether it's for productivity or gaming. If you are looking to buy either of these phones, then I would recommend the Poco X6 Pro 5G as it offers more features for a small price difference. However, the Infinix GT20 Pro is not a bad option since you get a bigger storage and a higher refresh rate for a much cheaper price. So that is our comparison of the Poco X6 Pro 5G against the Infinix GT20 Pro. Which phone would you choose? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future contents. Also, don't forget to visit manilashaker.com and follow us on FBX and TikTok for more tech news, reviews, and comparisons of the latest devices. Once again, this is Kath and Mabuhay Manila!